Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of ORU Golden Eagle Update. I'm JC Bigham here with women's volleyball player Laura Taylor. Thanks for being here today. No problem. Um, you guys had a huge conference weekend at home this weekend, beating Lamar and McNeese State, both 3 to 0. How did you guys come off the tough weekend last weekend to be so dominant in these two games? Well, this weekend we really focused on trying to communicate better and get more consistent with our playing, and I think that really helped in these two wins. Um, a lot of the girls, when they come in for the show, have been talking about communication. Um, how is that, what do you do to work on that and get better at that throughout the season? We just work on trying to talk and um, be more like open with each other and try and tell each other how we're feeling and how we want to play and just discuss everything and try and talk more on the court and just try and just talk. Um, did the team losing two last weekend motivate you guys to play so well this weekend? I think it definitely helped and we knew we had to come back and take these two wins to kind of stay with our game so I think it did motivate us, yes. Well, you have a, a weekend road trip coming up, two away conference games, and this team hasn't really performed very well away from home this season. What can you guys do to, to change that and to prove to everyone that this team can perform away from home? Well, we definitely need to win, so, but I think we just need to play like we're at home and just try and focus on staying competitive and trying to stay consistent with everything that we're doing. Well, you are very sneaky at your position, oftentimes trying to tip it over when the other team's not expecting it. Um, is that something that you learned here at ORU, or has that kind of always been a part of your game? Well, I've, it was definitely part of my game. I'm just starting to pick it back up. I'm trying to get more confident with what I'm doing. And so that's what we're really trying to focus on in practice and like trying to be more confident and really be aggressive at the net. So, Well, good luck this weekend. All right, well, stay tuned. We have more on women's soccer when we come back. ORU has an incredible balance of the classes and the teachers. They really, you get a good education. It teaches you a lot of principles, a lot of really the whole person, whether it's socially, physically, um, spiritually, just in every aspect, whether it's through the chapels, whether it's through worship, whether it's through the student body. You do have the opportunity to go into every person's world because You've been trained in education. You have the knowledge, you have the degree, but also your spiritual life, your spiritual maturity, it really trains that from the other end of things. I think one thing that captures me about ORU is just the opportunities that goes beyond the classes, the outside programs, whether it's ORU missions, whether it's ORU you know, student leadership opportunities as you're either serving or participating or leading in those areas. I think it just really teaches, it's taught me a lot, even in just you know, my two years here now. Hi, and welcome back to ORU Golden Eagle Update. I'm here with Shelby Lausch, women's soccer player. Um, you guys had a pretty tough loss against Stephen F. Austin, losing 5-0. Um, was it their offense that was so unstoppable, or did you guys just have some breakdowns defensively? No, I think um, defensively we did have some breakdowns. We... They came through the middle a lot, and they had a lot of outside shots, which they were good shots on goal, so we couldn't really do anything about that. But um, our coach ended up switching our formation after that game to try to help us in the defensive part and put three flat across the middle. And so that helped a lot, like, this weekend. But against Stephen F. Austin, like, yeah, they were a good team, and they did. I mean, their offense was pretty good, but we could have stopped them t also. I know it's never fun to lose, but... Did that loss help you learn lessons and expose some of your weaknesses to change things around, like you said? Yeah, it definitely did. And our coach talked about that to us in the locker room, that maybe like we did need this loss because we have beaten OU, we have beaten Creighton in the past, but those games don't matter because this is conference time now, and that loss just kind of opened our eyes, and we know what we have to do going into conference now. Well, you guys bounced back well against Northwestern, um, beating them 3-0. Um, did the game being at home help you guys at all, kind of recover and, and have the home crowd behind you guys? 
Yeah, I think it definitely did. We've been wanting to come home. We've been away for a month. We haven't played here in a month. So coming home and having our fans there definitely helped out and just bouncing back from that loss and scoring three goals. Granted, it did take a while to <laughs> score them, but we got it done. And so it was definitely we love people being there for us and supporting us, and that's a big part of it. But in conference, we're going to be away, so we have to get used to winning away games and home games. Well, you guys finished up the weekend with um, the double overtime victory over Sam Houston. Um, it seems like every couple games, you guys just have to throw in a double overtime game. What is it? Do you guys just love how that feels? Or what, is, what is it? Are you guys planning this? <laughs> no, we're not planning it. Um, our coach told us we need to stop doing <laughs> crowd pleasers. That's what he called it. And he just told us we need to get it done early. Um, I'm not really sure. We had so many opportunities yesterday. We had 20 plus shots and we just could not finish. Granted, the goalie did do a really w good job yesterday, but um, I think that we just need to finish our chances and we're working on that and our formation that we switched to definitely helped out and I was really proud of Jennifer Abernathy this weekend. She did really good scoring and getting us chances and stuff, so I think that helped out a lot. Well, coming down kind of the back stretch of conference, what's important to remember and stay focused on? At the end of the year, we want to be in the conference tournament. So the thing that we need to focus on is just focus on our goals. Like we have certain goals that our coach gave us this season. And so we just need to stay focused on those and stay focused on our away games, most importantly, and just come out and be ready for those games. Well, good luck on your upcoming games. All right, stay tuned. We have more on men's soccer when ORU Golden Eagle Update returns. We are wholly dedicated to seeing the whole picture, to serving the whole world, to experiencing a whole world of opportunities. For a university founded on the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. Welcome back to ORU Golden Eagle Update. I'm here with Casey Cantor, men's soccer player. Um, you guys lost a really tough one to Kansas City, uh, one to two. What was it that just wouldn't really let you get over that hump and, and get that victory? Um, I mean, we played pretty poorly in the first half, but we uh, played a lot better in the second half, and that's when we scored. Um, we had a very controversial call at the end of the game, and uh, it didn't go our way. So just it was one of those games where you just didn't catch any good bounces. When you have a call like that, is it really kind of deflating to the team to play so hard and then something like that swing it in the other direction? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it was a really big loss because our one of our forwards, Marco Hernandez, had to go to the hospital. He got knocked out unconscious. So it was very, a very uh, intense moment at that time. How is he in his recovery now? Um, he's doing okay. I think he has a heavy concussion and he's in a neck brace for the next few weeks. So he should be okay, though. Um, you have a big game coming up Saturday against IUPUI. Um, how important is it to finally be home after that three-game stretch away? Well, we've, been, we've had a lot of games um, on the road this season, so it's going to be good to be home and have our own fans in the stands, and it's going to be good. You have this whole week off. Um, what do you think will be the main focus of practice, and what does the team really need to improve on to have a, a good outcome on Saturday? Well, it's going to be great to get um, a good week of rest, get, some, get our legs back under us, and um, just bond as a team and be ready for the next week to – try to get into the tournament. Well, thank you so much for coming, and good luck on Saturday. All right, we'll be sure to head out on Saturday at 7 o'clock to watch men's soccer take on IUPUI. That's it for this week's edition of ORU Golden Eagle Update. We'll see you next week. ORU has an incredible balance of the classes and the teachers, they really, you get a good education. It teaches you a lot of principles, a lot of really the whole person, whether it's socially, physically, um, spiritually, just in every aspect, whether it's through the chapels, whether it's through worship, whether it's through the student body. You do have the opportunity to go into every person's world because you've been trained in education. You have the knowledge, you have the degree, but also your spiritual life, your spiritual maturity, it really trains that from the other end of things. I think one thing that captures me about ORU is just the opportunities 
that goes beyond the classes, the outside programs, whether it's ORU missions, whether it's ORU you know, student leadership opportunities as you're either serving or participating or leading in those areas. I think it just really teaches, it's taught me a lot even in just you know, my two years here now.